Hello, hello, welcome to Crazy Games. <laughs> so, last video, I started playing Halo uh, C Anniversary, and I just realized, um, I guess I can click resume and it'll take me back to the next level. I plan on like making every video just one level, so um, the last video I ended it right when I, uh, this next level started. But apparently you can just choose the mission. I can just be like, I want to play this mission. Heroic. And uh, start. And then, yeah, it'll just load me into the level that I want to play. So maybe I'll just do this. Guess I gotta hit that button. I don't think anything carries over between missions anyway, so... It's not like I'm losing ammo collected or weapons collected. I think you can start from a clean slate at every level. Alright. Good to see this cutscene again. Crash land on Halo. Everyone dead but me. The others. The impact. There's nothing we can do. Wow, look at that. Look, uh, apparently the audio is also remastered too, so I don't know what they changed. Warning. I've detected multiple Covenant dropships on approach. I recommend moving into those hills. If we're lucky, the Covenant will believe that everyone aboard this lifeboat died in the crash. That is weird. I feel like this uh, skybox, the old one actually looks a lot better. I guess the environment looks a lot better in the newer one. It's funny, like, apparently people are comparing, like, this graphics to the new um, Halo Infinite trailer, and they're like, <laughs> they, they, they brought back Halo 1 graphics. How oh, silly of them. Inbound. They must be looking for survivors. I recommend immediate evasion. Time to take a shower. Like a samurai. Ah. All clean now. How does this water look in the old one? Again, I feel like the water looked better in the old one. Maybe I'm just biased because I'm used to the old graphics. Since I only played like the old one, I never really played played this with the new graphics. Oh yeah, so it was across this bridge here. Oh, ooh, hello. Uh oh. I am taking a lot of damage. Where are you going? Line of sight. Line of sight. Taking advantage of the environment to line of sight the enemies. Man. He's not, he's not rushing me. Oh, he didn't die in one hit. Ow, I'll stick with the pistols. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. The new one is definitely better for this part. Uh, don't don't fall. Don't fall. Ah, ah! Oh, okay, I didn't I actually didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh, I gotta start that all over. So what happens if I just head here right away? I detected multiple covenant dropships on approach. I 
recommend moving into those hills. If we're lucky, the Covenant will believe that everyone aboard this lifeboat died in a crash. Alert! Covenant dropship inbound. They must be oh. looking for survivors. I recommend immediate evasion. I won't fight those, those guys. But there are Banshees. And the Banshee sees me. There's no boarding in this one, so I can't steal the Banshee. I don't think this assault rifle can take out the um, the banshee. I guess I can take take him out with this because this pistol is actually like really rigged. Oh, there's two of them. Taken down by a- oh, they're running away. Taken down by a pistol. Wait, he's blue this time. Last time it was red. I think red is like slightly stronger than blue. Like in the old graphics, the shield effect is more like visually prominent. Like you can see that you've actually hit them, but in the old graphics, you can barely see the shield. Uh, it's kind of dangerous to go on that bridge. I have no cover and that Lily can just like free fire on me, so I'm just gonna leave him. Just like, ah, stop it. It's like bugging him. Did, did he walk, run across the bridge? No, he's right, right still there. Oh, there's kind of a range to these weapons. I remember when I was younger, playing this game when it first came out on PC. I was using like, a ball mouse, like a mouse. I don't even know if people even know that, these days know that exists. Back in the days, the mouse has a ball in it. And uh, you move it against the table, or the mouse pad that you have, and the spinning of the ball, like triggers these two, um, cylinders these like these axles to spin that's how it tracks your like mouse movement and um unfortunately it's a mechanical mechanism so like gunk and dust and stuff would get into it and um it would kind of get squished <laughs> inside on the on the cylinders that like spin but then like that that was a mouse i used it had it didn't even have a, a scroll wheel i think it had two buttons, the middle or the left click and right click. And then later I got like an optical mouse that had the middle like scroll wheel. <laughs> and like mouse these days have like the buttons on the like my melee button is on like the thumb on the mouse. But that didn't exist really back then. And the keyboard, like right now I'm playing on like a gaming mechanical keyboard so it feels nice and stuff but back then I had like a one of those generic mass-produced like printed keyboards like the uh the buttons were just it was just one sheet over the next hill we should check to see if there are any survivors uh nostalgia and even with that with that like setup I was doing really well online back in the days when um, online is just free <laughs> I guess there's no like dedicated servers back then it's just like whoever's hosting everyone's connecting to that computer and uh, depending on internet connection that can be terrible but then it costs oh no I'm out of ammo it costs um, the company nothing to run multiplayer. It's 
guy has a badass scar. I might sound racist, but they made Sergeant Johnson a lot lighter in the new one compared to the old one. He's more black in the old one. And I think he actually looks more badass in the old one too. The new one he kind of looks a little bit silly. I believe this is one of the longer levels, so this video might actually be longer. And I'm not speedrunning or anything, I'm taking my time. Oop. Ooh, jackals. I actually took quite a bit of damage there. Who's saying that? Ow, man. Ow. There's a health kit somewhere. Oh, I hear like the heartbeat because I'm low on health. I forgot that was a thing. Can I switch weapons with these guys? I have your pistol. It's kind of rigged. I'm up against. Nope. I was kind of hoping he dodged in that direction. That I threw the uh, sticky grenade in. Then I make like a sick, sick MLG play. Plasma pistol is like so useful for like the higher difficulties, but when I played, I thought like, oh, this is a piss, this is an alien pistol, so bad. Ooh, a health kit. That's kind of like when I was younger. I guess I was not. I don't really think of games as what like their guns. How their guns are designed. I just think like, oh, this is an automatic weapon. It's like way better. Pistols are like not as good. But in like reality, the pistols in this game is like designed to be way stronger <laughs> for some reason. One shield recharge. All right. Oh, it doesn't home. I thought I thought the um, last one pistol homed. Well, he turned around like instantly there. Oh, there's two dropships. Oh, there's like all this stuff here, but there, there's no reward for exploring. You don't get like a better gun or anything. Oops. It does kind of arc towards a target. Maybe you need to have it red, like the the crosshair turn red before it would do any uh, tracking. Oh, oh, I put myself in a dangerous position. Oh, there I go. Oh man. I had the pistol. 
Take on this group. Keep line of sight. Oh, that's an elite. Oh, they can totally pincer me in here. If only I can run in this game. Give, give me the health kit. <laughs> I felt like the um, Warthog in this one feels the, like it has the most weight. Like in Halo 3, the Warthog feels like a bit too light. But this one, it, the, the Warthog feels like it has weight to it. I wonder why they changed it. Maybe the engine changed? And they try to change up the physics of it or something? I don't know. <laughs> the Warthog didn't really change that much. I guess it looks like it's clipping into the ground because of all the uh, foliage and grass they added. <laughs> Is not a natural formation. No. <laughs> so it must lead somewhere. I always made always thought that uh, line is a bit silly. <laughs> These old games, they don't really reward you for exploring all that much. I guess they just needed to make something like an environment that's believable, and uh, exploration is not really the uh, point. into the Covenant Battle Network. You're actually broadcasting tactical data on unencrypted channels. We should show them who they're dealing with. Hackerman. Master Chief. Act too much time. Suits transcom system to monitor their chatter. I wonder if you're supposed to like go down and then come back up, whereas a lot of people would make that jump. Like what I mean is. Like instead of uh, coming down here and going up this ramp, they would just drop down from like up there, like up here. Oh, he dodged it. I think it's actually dangerous to try and run people over. Oh no! Oh, you see. In in like higher difficulties, because they can actually kill you really fast. Oh, 
Okay, maybe not. I'm doing pretty well, I feel. Uh oh. Shoot that guy. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Any health kits? I guess there won't be health kits here since there's like an alien area. Do they dodge out of the way? Oh yeah, in this game uh, the vehicles are indestructible. They added destructible vehicles like later. I think in Halo 2 that's when they added it. Oh, time to do this the old fashioned way. Remember, we're supposed to go up here and activate a bridge. I'm really noticing the music, and it's really good. It seems really like proper for like this kind of setting, like an alien setting. Bit hostile, but like full of technology. Beep boop, beep boop, beep boop. Master Chief's like, I don't know. Psh, is this is button. What does this button do? <laughs> I need a weapon. We'll be okay. I'm actually enjoying. Whoa, this is this is really dark. I'm really enjoying switching between the two graphics. I don't remember this being this dark though when I first like played through it in the original Halo C for the PC. I've actually never played this on Xbox. This this one specifically. I only my first like experience of Halo was on the PC through uh, Halo Combat Evolved. It was like published by Gearbox or something like that. I don't remember. At least there's no aliens here. Oh, drift points. There's new traffic on the Covenant Battle Network. A lot more crew made it off the autumn than I had predicted. Nice. The captain really gave them hell. If we can find Captain Keys and the other survivors, we have a chance to coordinate an effective resistance. Oh, oh, oh les résistances. Reunion tour. Stick right. I know there's supposed to be like I think two or three places you need to go to to save some soldiers. Survivors detected. Marines are concealed in those rocks. Gotcha! Keep shooting him, keep shooting him. I think it's kind of dangerous to try and drive into these rock formations. Oh, someone has a sniper rifle. Nice! Uh oh! I'm afraid the gunner there on that gun dropship will take me out. I want to just plow through all of them. Let's do it! Uh, 
Oh, I gotta watch my health. Oh, once my shield's back, you guys are screwed. I'm not gonna try and fit through there. I probably can if I really tried. Oh, he faked me out. Oh, he faked me out again. Yeah, I was saying in the previous video, I didn't really pay attention to the lore or anything when I played it the first time. I just thought like the gameplay enough was cool enough. Like the, the gameplay is kind of on a repeating loop where you just go to a place, shoot some guys, go to a place, shoot some guys. It doesn't really like deviate from that. I guess there's uh, the vehicle uh, sections as well, but in this one, the whole idea of uh, changing the pacing up depending on vehicles, uh, depending on whether you drive a vehicle or not. I don't think it was all that fleshed out. From what I've experienced, this game was kind of the first game with like a vehicle section. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Shoot him! Shoot him! Oh, my health is back. Oh, my shield's back. You're screwed now. We Look at the bros up there. Need immediate dust off. Roger, Cortana. On my way. I spotted additional lifeboats in your area. One near the cliff edge. And another Look at that sniper rifle. Hard to see it looks so weird. But it looks like there are more survivors. Acknowledged. We're on our way. That sniper rifle. What is, what is that? Green like radar thing. What what is it indicating? It's him. Yeah, it's me. Uh oh, this isn't good. I know there's fall damage. <laughs> I'm so used to games that don't have fall damage. Actually, Guild Wars have Guild Wars 2 has uh, fall damage. It's that there's also gliding, so it kind of mitigates that. Yeah, I got a, I got a bro here. All right, let's get going. I was kind of hoping to pick up more uh, sniper rifle ammo. So the pelican lady said, what was that shadow? Oh, shoot them, shoot them, shoot them. Oh, uh-oh. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Nice. Uh, the pelican lady said, I, there's two other places to get to. Tanks a lot. I don't know what that means. I don't know what all those like pop up. What they're they're indicating me doing. Uh, let's just stick right. The good old maze. Um, <laughs> where you just stick right in a maze and eventually you'll get out or something. 
I guess depends on how they designed the maze. Wait, this is where I came from, isn't it? See, that's what I mean by depends on how they designed the maze. Still kind of had to be smart about it. Imagine being the guy and the gunner. You have to like, your only way of staying on is holding on to that gunner. Oh, thanks, Cortana. That's when uh, the game thinks you're taking too long and they're like, ah, we'll tell you what to do, jeez. <laughs> yeah, can you imagine being the guy and the gunner? You're in a rocky ride. Except the only way you stay on the gunner is by holding on for dear life. Oh, these are the oops. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm very sorry. You kind of just came out of nowhere. Can I kill him? Does the sound change? No, the sound stays the same. At least I haven't noticed any change. I totally missed that. Uh, I used to be really good at sniping in this game. I don't know. I guess now that I'm older, my like mechanical skills has deteriorated. Dropping more dudes. No scope. No scope. Uh, give me more sniper rifle ammo. Maybe I shouldn't have used the sniper rifle on the little guys. I should have saved it for like the elites. That was kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, I'll use the pistol on these little guys. Bow, bow, bow! Affirmative. Roger, roger. We're going to look for the last lifeboat, Echo 419. Good luck. Nice. That's a lot of sniper ammo. Is there any more? <laughs> you wanted more? It's a steep hill. Driving down a hill like this in real life is actually pretty scary. <laughs> Especially when you're off road. Might not seem like that in a video game, but things are really different in real life. Bye bye, bye bye, foe hammer. Uh, is there any more snipper rifle ammo? In this game, you actually like hold a lot more ammo than in the later games. Shoot him! Warning: I picked up reports that the Covenant has located and secured the Pillar of Autumn's crash site. The good news is the captain is still alive. The bad news is that the Covenant have captured the entire surviving. Let's hurry and find the final lifeboat so we can link up with the rest of the survivors. 
I think that's a de that's like a dead end. Like literally, if you go there, you'll die. So I'm gonna go this way. Oops. Ah, oh, I, ha I haven't paid off this car yet. It's just a lease. It's a rent drive like a rental. Maybe they took cover in that structure. Let's check it out. This is the fastest car in the world. It's a Toyota. It's a rental. That's a Top Gear. <laughs> Top Gear is pretty funny. Funny show. Hmm, I wonder if I can just like... Okay, maybe not. I wanted to like get off and snipe the guys up there, but there was no like cover. Right, let's get out of here. Oh, you like that? Yeah, you can't really see. Shoot off their kneecaps. I think that guy might be dead before I even hit him. What is heavy lifting? I keep getting that, like, progress towards the head. Can I get up up here? Grenade jump? I'm wasting sniper rifle ammo. Shame. Oh, the shield's reflected, I forgot. Here, have a grenade. Oh, the shield reflected that one too. We're not, I'm not leaving. I'm taking care of these guys slowly. Cortana. How about you let me take care of the fighting? How do I kill those guys before I go in there? Ducked. Four shots. Or at least eight shots, I guess. Oh, jeez, he's gonna kill me. He just keeps running backwards. I wasted so many am so much ammo on him. So many ammo. I English sometimes. Let's try the uh this gun. There's not a lot of difference between the, the gun, the old way and the new way. Ah. There's a dead human. Dead human. Detected. Ooh. Yeah, this this gun definitely feels different than uh, I'm used to. It feels like it move the the ammo like fires it. It's like um, it almost feels like a hit scan weapon. Whoa, okay. It almost feels like a hit scan weapon, whereas I remember it being like a projectile weapon, like. There's a projectile that moves. I actually prefer it as a hit scan though. Like, I think it was like this, where you can see like a projectile, and there's like a, a delay in the shots. It's just that it was like fully automatic instead of semi automatic. I'm glad they changed it, I don't know. It feels a bit more comfortable to use. We should secure the area before the drop arrives. Whoop! 
I get him? I did not get him. Force I have hits. Oh. Wait. It is. It does feel hit scan. He's being held on a Covenant cruiser, the Truth and Reconciliation, a ship I disabled before we abandoned the Autumn. The Truth and Reconciliation touched down on a desert plateau, roughly 300 kilometers upspin. So now it's time to guess what would happen. Since I started this specifically by level, would it lead me to the next level or would it bring me back to the, um, the level right. select menu? Get aboard and let's get out of here. Welcome aboard, Master Chief. Ready for dust off. What about those guys? Don't they want to come? I'll end this here after this cutscene. So uh, thanks for watching, let me know how many times I die in the comments below. And also let me know what you like to see or what you didn't like to see and stuff like that. Thank you, goodbye.